Well, before you hop on that international flight, you better make sure your cell phone is turned all the way off. Learned that the hard way. Yeah. One West Hollywood couple learned it even harder than what I'm talking about. <laughs> After they were hit with more than $1,000 in roaming charges from one transatlantic flight. Yeah, CBS 2's investigator now, Christine Lazar, joins us now with this consumer warning today. Christine? Well, Pat and Jeff, here's the kicker. Their phone was on, but it wasn't even in use. Because of this, AT&T originally offered to refund those roaming charges, but then went back on their word until two on your side got involved. After a dream European vacation, Sarah and Rio Beers arrived home to a $1,300 cell phone bill. More than $1,100 of it was in roaming charges, accrued all while they were in the air. Did you even know that you could accrue that much in roaming charges on a single flight? No idea. It was, the bill was more expensive than our flight. Sarah says when she got onto the plane, she stored her cell phone in her bag in the overhead bin. I thought I'd turn my phone off. I put it away in the overhead and I just figured long haul, 12 hours, I'll watch movies, take a nap, and didn't give it a second thought. When they landed, Sarah got this text saying due to high international data use, her service was suspended. She was confused by this because she had purchased an international calling plan specifically for the vacation. So Sarah called her cell phone provider, AT&T, and that's when they told her they had shut off her service due to all those expensive roaming minutes. They looked at the usage and the data that was, that was taking place and uh, they realized I wasn't actually doing anything on my phone. There was no activity documented during that 12 hours. So she says the customer service rep told her the charges would be refunded. She even got this text confirming it. So I had in writing right then, so I, I never gave it a second thought. He turned my phone back on and told us these fees would be waived. But the very next day, more than $1,300 was withdrawn out of their account, which is on auto pay with AT&T. So Sarah called again and again, she says she kept being told their case was denied. How much time have you spent fighting this? Hours, hours and hours and hours. I, my last conversation with them was two hours and 15 minutes on the phone. Finally, a supervisor at AT&T agreed to refund the money, not just the roaming charges, but their monthly charges, nearly $1,400. So we thought this was great. We, we won, this is done. And then the next day we get a notice saying, now we're outstanding on our bill. We owe all this money, and if we don't pay it ASAP, they're going to collections with it. What did you think when they threatened you to take this to collections? I thought AT&T just wants to wear me down. They just want me to give up and pay them. The pair felt like they were out of options. Without you helping us right now, I mean, what can we do? We can't take them to court. Two on your side contacted AT&T and they agreed to refund all of those roaming charges. We asked them why the beers would get roaming charges even though they'd purchased an international plan and they said it's because those plans don't include in-flight usage. So make sure to confirm your phone is off or in airplane mode when flying. Also, an update tonight to a story we brought you last month. These are new wheelchair ramps the VA installed late last week. They're for a disabled Korean War vet who is wheelchair bound. His daughter contacted us after the VA canceled the job last spring without telling them about it. We got involved and the VA sprung into action. So that vet now has some ramps to get out of his yes. house. We love those updates. Yeah. Yes. You know, we tell you guys that this is going to happen, but when we actually see it follow through, we want to let everybody know about so those glad. results. Yeah, it makes us feel good. It does. It All does. Right. And you know, it's simple, but now he can get in and out of his house without his daughter struggling to get down the steps. Yeah. So for him, that's what? A big deal. Big Absolutely. difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, Christine. Well, can Two on Your Side help you? Just email us at Two on Your Side at CBS.com with your problem or on Twitter. Use the hashtag Two on Your Side, and Christine will see what she can do to help you solve it.